Today we're gonna talk about writing style اللي هي طريقة الكتابة طريقة الكتابة طبعا it will depend on uh, two main variables أول شيء عنا writing style and second is the writing tone هلا I want you to use it prompt engineering in English and then you get the Arabic output as an output so you don't do prompt engineering in Arabic so in writing style خلينا نركز على we need to set what we want to write is it technical writing humorous writing academic uh, journal poetic conversational descriptive يعني هم نوصف شيء ولا مقال صحفي ولا uh, مقال هزلي ولا مقال تقني ولا persuasive للإقناع uh, or comparative if we are comparing two things so uh, فينا نحدد أول شيء طريقة الكتابة وبعدين ننتقل على التون التون هي مثل ما تقول النبرة اللي مستخدمة بطريقة الكتابة so it can be friendly it can be uh, motivational تشجيعية it can be inspirational it can be authoritative thoughtful uh, encouraging serious or informal بين الأصحاب مثلا بتكون informal بالشغل فيها تكون serious encouraging إذا عندنا موظف جديد we can use the encouraging tone thoughtful if like HR is sending an email for uh, like uh, to all staff it can be thoughtful authoritative لما تكون انت مدير عام ولا مدير وبدك تبعت رسالة لكل الموظفين so it has to be authoritative inspirational إذا عنا بدنا نطلع أفكار جديدة or lead by example or بدنا نجيب uh, نعطي أمل بالشركة أو بالمؤسسة so we need to give inspirational tone motivational إذا في عنا مثلا uh, we need to motivate Usually you, you, you do that in a brainstorming sessions, in a strategy review meeting, when you are calling for uh, mainly for feedback, it needs to be uh, motivational friendly. Let's say we, we met someone in a, a coffee shop or in a social event and we need to uh, send a follow-up message or for a date we need to send up a follow-up message that that was great meeting you. And we want to, I hope that we meet later for different uh, events or something. So we draft it and then we put it for ChatGPT and we, we need to say, please give me like uh, uh, in a friendly tone, rephrase it and correct it grammatically and give me a better way of saying what I want to say. So let's move to the practical part. And to the practical part, uh, we can create some uh, uh, new chats. And then let's say I want to write this. I will paste a text. Please review, correct all the grammar and the spelling mistakes. Reshape it in a friendly tone in Arabic. Keep doing that for all the mess messages until I say stop. So if you have a tone, or if you have of, or you keep sending messages for customer relationship management or uh, any other uh, way of sending the same message so what you need to do draft the message paste it here and you get it in arabic so what is the message i hope you are well have a look at these proposals and let's have a call to see where we can get from there so when we say when we put it and we put the tone is like friendly, it will nearly keep it the same. And then when I say make it motivational, then you see that the tone totally changed. يعني لما تصير التون motivational تغيرت. بدل ما تكون بالقبل من فضلك ألقي نظرة على تلك الاقتراحات اللي هي كانت لفرندلي. هلأ منشوف دعونا نلقي نظرة على تلك الاقتراحات بتفاؤل. ولنتبادل اتصالا لنرى ماذا يمكن ان نحققه في هذه المبادرة المبهرة. هلا التون is very important because it will it will set the eventually the tone of the message and it will create new words that will help 
uh, uh, us get the subconscious message to our audience. So let's uh, try another one. I'm writing a staff, a, a, an email for my staff to review the proposal. Uh, and then I want it to be authoritative tone. So in an authoritative tone, usually in English, it is much uh, better than uh, Arabic. In Arabic, I feel that all the time I need to fix some words in order to uh, chat GPT or the large language model can understand the way I write or the way I speak. But in English, it's usually more uh, easy uh, or easier to uh, but in English, it is easier to write and easier to uh, copy and use as a draft message for me. Uh, so another one, like I'm writing a show, if, for example, I am uh, invited for dinner and I want to send a couple of lines uh, thanking the one who invited me for dinner. What I need to do, like the food was great, especially the meat was amazing. So I need to draft something and I'm going to put it and the prompt will say, please review, correct all grammar and spelling mistake, reshape it in a friendly tone. So this is all what we have here, reshape it in a friendly tone, or we can say reshape it in a formal tone or whatever tone that we want in an uh, in uh, authoritative tone uh, so then simply we can get i just want to express my heartfelt gratitude for having me over for dinner so i got the message based on the draft that i wrote uh, and in a professional way according to the tone that i want so once you know what you want uh, so even what I'm saying that ChatGPT, you cannot do prompt engineering in Arabic. You can, but don't do that. Choose the shortest way, which is like to do the prompt engineering in Arabic and uh, in English, and then ask for output in any language you want. So for the same language, what I said, do it in Arabic. And then I got it in Arabic. If I say, in French, so I don't need to do prompt engineering in French. So my friend, uh, like, uh, who was like always fighting the chat GPT, I can uh, put the message in French and she will get it immediately. Uh, in German, we can do it in German. We can do it in any language we want. So we don't need to do prompt engineering in other languages. All what we want to do is to get the output in that language. Uh, now, let's say you have a good point that you want to uh, write something about, but you're weak in writing and you don't know how to write properly. But now this is not a problem because if you use the journal journalistic uh, writing style and the tone uh, as thoughtful tone, then you can write an article. All what you need to do is to give the main points and areas for that article. So you put your idea or flow of idea and you just ask to write uh, an article for the newspaper. And here we go. So stay focused. What we need to have, we need to have two things. The first thing, the writing style, and the writing style can vary, as we said, from uh, poetry to uh, uh, journal, academic writing, technical writing, or any uh, type of writing. And then, in the next side, we need to use the right tone. So once you have those two together right, you can create great writing. And then, for other languages, like especially in Arabic, لما تكون عم تكتب بالعربي and you ask for Arabic output ويجيك المكتوب بالعربي مش مثل الطريقة اللي انت بتكتب فيها فيك تقول please change these words غير هالكلمتين استعمل هالكلام هذا على طول and هالكلام هذا هالكل هالكلمات هذه لا تدخلها لما اكون انا عم بحكي معك and choose the other set of uh, words and you can do that by mimicking 
So as I end the rasail, you can put your letter and you put your message and you ask ChatGPT or other large language model to mimic your way of writing and use your output that you want. So what is the objective of your writing? You said the objective of your writing, then they mimic your way of writing. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. And again, uh, most of you are already subscribed, but uh, we need to get to other uh, uh, or a new uh, portion or new market. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. So as usual, uh, spread it and let's grow together and let's learn together. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for this video.